Catching a glimpse of a hummingbird at a backyard feeder is a moment of rare beauty. Equally unique, a chance to learn about hummingbirds from a rare breed himself, a certified hummingbird bander. So here in BC, we have four species of hummingbirds. I was really fortunate and I was able to borrow three of the four species from the UBC Museum. So here you go. My name is Roy Teo. I work for Metro Vancouver Regional Parks and I'm a park interpreter. Um, and I'm also one of 200 people in the world certified to ban hummingbirds. Looks like cottonwood, doesn't it? Tonight's program is, uh, it's, it's about hummingbirds and it's a hummingbird banding program and it's one of the programs that we've assembled in a series called the Hands-On Scientist. And I'm going to pass around a replica of an egg. This is an opportunity for us to bring in scientists and researchers who are qualified at things that are very specialized and things we often don't see. And who would have thought that there's people that actually have to be certified to go and ban a hummingbird? We maintain a monitoring station out at Widgeon Marsh um, where we track the population, the abundance and the diversity of hummingbirds. And that's been happening for five years now. All the work I do with um, banding and monitoring hummingbirds is out of passion, and it's, uh, it's entirely volunteer. I've got it on, I'm just checking the fit. It rotates smoothly, that's good. It's estimated that overall, worldwide, um, there's about 6,500,000 rufous hummingbirds, so it's pretty healthy. But the concern right now is that there's been a steady decline of about 2.7% every year for the last 70 years or so. Banding hummingbirds allow scientists to track their population. On a recent July morning, 30 hummingbirds were banded, a normal number for this time of year. One of the reasons why hummingbirds are in decline is the loss of habitat. So anything you can do to enrich your backyards by planting native plants with flowers would help a hummingbird. Here in Metro Vancouver Regional Parks, we offer a whole range of programs that cater to the birder and the bird watcher. It was wonderful, all the information that we got on the birds. Uh, we certainly have our feeder out and take great pleasure in seeing them come and feed at our house. So uh, now I know a little more about it and just paying a little more attention to it. We had a picnic over yonder and then we came here. So it's been a complete evening. Bird watching is one of the number one recreational activities in North America. It gets people outside, they walk the trails, they get to enjoy nature in a passive way and just listen to the wondrous sounds we have around us. I love hummingbirds. When I lived somewhere else, we had one of those basic hummingbird feeders and we had hummingbirds all the time. I think that's when I first fell in love with them. I think they're so awesome. We've got a feeder just outside the kitchen window where I stand when I'm washing the dishes. It's right there. And I can watch them from very close. They're gorgeous. They're fantastic flyers and really interesting birds. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed by hummingbirds. The greatest things, having one up, uh, up close and in my hand. Um, even now, I'm amazed by how small they are. 